Okay, tonight everyone, an explosive new report revealing Senator Joe Biden used his leverage to intervene on behalf of his son's lobbying efforts with federal departments in the U.S. government. According to this report, then Senator Biden privately reached out to the Department of Justice as well as the Department of Homeland Security to discuss issues that Hunter's firm was being paid to lobby on. Joe Biden maintaining he knew nothing about his son's business dealings. Joining me right now is former Nevada State GOP Chair Amy Tarkanian and former Obama Regional Campaign Director Robin Byro. Good to see you both. Amy, uh, you know, like it, it just keeps getting worse for, for Joe Biden, all thanks to his son. Yes, and I believe that, that it's only going to continue to snowball, especially with the appearance of the impropriety that's been mm -hmm. going on. Um, you know, first of all, let's just let's just take a take a take a step back and ask. Why would Hunter Biden, out of all of the possible jobs that he could possibly, you know, try to fill and, and, want, and want to do for a profession, why would he choose lobbying? Hmm? <laughs> Uh, Seems pretty yeah. convenient because <laughs> Seems he like also the started path, the lobbying firm. Path of least resistance. Well, Right, exactly. It seems pretty convenient because he also partnered up uh, with one of Joe Biden's former political aides, somebody who was once close to the senator himself. So you have people who are uh, going to be lobbying possibly on issues that his father would have power and control over yeah. and, and big influence over. Yeah. And, and by the way, I started off by saying, you know, it, it, things are getting worse for him all because of his son. And I should point out not just his son. I mean, it's him. It, it, why would you why would you make those phone calls if these reports are true on behalf of your son and his firm? I mean, whatever happened to church and state, Robin? It's bad, Trish. You know I can't come on national television and defend these actions, uh, so I'm not going to. This looks bad, uh, and look, this is part of part of why money in politics is such a problem. And I have great respect now for John Kerry's son, who at least had the decency to say no to all of these different opportunities that came his way when his father's name was getting him these kind of offers. Uh, nepotism and money in politics really bothers me to mm -hmm. it's to my core. Mm -hmm. And, you know, um, in some ways, it, it feeds right into what Elizabeth Warren has been saying, Amy, uh, thereby making it even harder for Joe Biden in this primary lineup, right? Because she's talking about how big business is so corrupt, et cetera. Uh, you know, something right. that, by the way, Donald Trump ha has, has ridden all the way to the Oval Office, pointing out all the corruption in Washington, D.C., right. the swamp, as he calls it. Elizabeth Warren does the same with uh, big business and D.C. So this plays right to her narrative. Do you think that Joe Biden is no longer going to be the chosen one for the Democratic Party? <laughs> Correct. I, I do believe that Elizabeth Warren is making a very smart move in this area um, mm -hmm. in particular. And yes, I don't believe that Joe Biden is going to be the nominee. In fact, many of my Democratic friends um, who once uh, were supporting Joe, um, they are actually wavering and they're not so sure that he's their go to guy anymore. Mm -hmm. Yeah, I've heard that quite a bit. Um, you know, so the Democrats mm -hmm. options right now, Robin, for the top of their ticket, they're looking uh, slimmer and slimmer. Uh, but yet, nonetheless, you got Bill Clinton's former advisor saying Hillary Clinton could jump back in thanks to her belief in a <clears throat> higher power. Here we go. The issue is, will the ghost of Hillary Clinton come out and get into the election? My feeling is that she wants to. She feels entitled to do it. She feels compelled to do it. She feels that God put her on the earth to do it. But she's hesitant because she realizes the timing is bad. That's on John Casamitidis's radio show. Uh, so there's a, a, a religious call in here, it sounds like. Robin, does she wind up getting in? Do we go to a broker convention and the, the Democrats go on hands and knees to Hillary Clinton and say, please help us? And she says, aha, this is what I was meant to do. I'm doing it again. Third time's a charm. It scares me. Yeah, yeah. it scares me uh, to a great deal. <laughs> yeah. uh, but I don't think that, th yeah, I don't think that she's going to do that uh, because uh, I don't think the voters are going to be having anything to do with that. Uh, and, you know, as far as a calling to serve, I get it. That's why politicians should run when they have a, when they feel mm -hmm. that calling. Uh, but she's been doing this she's for decades. She's been doing decades. it for a while. Uh, and she's been called a couple times. Yeah. <laughs> right? I mean, right. Yeah. And I think we need some new blood. Yeah. Well, you know, you guys are trying 
trying, um, but uh, you get the sense that you know maybe they're they're sort of eating their own here. Um, the viciousness in politics yeah. makes it very very challenging. Amy, who do you predict will get it? <laughs> um, well, Warren? it's very hard to tell. I, I, well, you know, I was going to say at this point it does look like Elizabeth Warren, but I'm mm -hmm. hoping that maybe somebody uh, else will come up, maybe from the ranks, maybe Tulsi. Um, you're hearing a little bit of excitement for Mayor Pete. Um, of <laughs> course, I'm going to be voting for President Trump, yeah. um, hands down. It would be nice but, to have someone uh, who's not like a full-blown socialist who wants to destroy the capitalist system right. that has made our right. country the success it is. Uh, Robin, who's your money Yes, on? I would agree. Uh, probably Elizabeth Warren, but I'm rooting for Amy Klobuchar because she is that centrist mm -hmm. who's oh. ca talking common sense, uh, and mm -hmm. and uh, she's she's hitting her stride. She's qualified for each of these debates easily. So I'm okay. hoping that she'll have a breakout moment. But I think it'll be Elizabeth, honestly. We'll see. Amy and Robin, thank you so much, guys.